Hello, today I'm going to show you how to find books at the OCC Library. We're going to start at the Orange Coast College website at orangecoastcollege.edu. Then we're going to scroll down under Top Searches and we're going to click Library. This takes you to the library's website. There are lots of different things you can do here. But if you're looking for books, what you want to click on here is Search the Library. Here, you can search lots and lots of different things, um, not just books. But we really want to focus just on books today, so we're going to narrow our search. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, our search on social media um, in business. And I'm just going to type social media in business here. And then I'm going to go down and click where it says library catalog. This lets you search for books only. Uh, this will also get some other things like online videos um, and online books as well. So you will want to narrow down your search over here on the side. You'll notice that the words I used were very broad, social media and business. The reason for this is that what this website does is it looks for words that match your search in the book title and subject. So if you put a lot of words in this search, you may not come up with too many books. We came up with 1,200 results, uh, which is actually quite a bit, and all of those are not going to be books. Um, the way that we want to narrow down to books only is we're going to go under where it says resource type, and we're going to click books. Now the reason it's important to do this is because this website will search lots and lots of different things even by even with saying library catalog. So by clicking on the books we make sure that we only get books because that's what we're looking for at this point. Now whenever you see the search results you'll see it gives you the title and the author and the date and then it will tell you where the book is available at. Um, Circulating books is where most books are in the library. Um, that's going to be on the second floor. And this number right after is what's called the call number. So the call number for this book is HM742L832016. That's the address of the book in the library. Just like a website has a URL, books have addresses uh, in a library. So you would use that to find the actual book on the shelf. Um, basically, you're going to start with the letters first, and then you're going to go to the number second. So I would go up to the second floor of the library, go to the H section, and then look for HM, and then I would look for the 742. If you have trouble finding the book, go downstairs and talk to the librarian at the reference desk, and we can go up and help you find the book. If you want more information about the book, click on the title, and it will give you... Uh, more details about the book as well as a description. One other thing that you can do um, wherever you see this quote mark that will give you a citation for the book. Um, so when I click that here it starts off with an APA citation um, and you can copy and paste this into your paper. You will want to check the citation for accuracy before you include it in your work. If you're using a format other than APA, you can click down on MLA and it will do the same thing for you. Now let's say it's very late at night and you only um, can use books that are online uh, because you can't get to the library. Well, there's one easy way to find those books. Um, and that is to click on, under Availability, Available Online. And then Apply Filter. And now it's only going to show me online books. Now you'll notice when I did that, it dropped down to 109 results because a lot of the books that we have are not online. Um, but 109 books on social media and business is pretty good. So from here, if we want to use one of these books, we're going to click on uh, the title. And then where it says view online, I'm going to click view full text. Um, here it's going to ask you to log in if you're off campus. So you would do that here. And this is the same username and password that you use for Canvas and for your email and all everything that you do at OCC. Once you've logged in, then it will take you to the ebooks page. And here um, to read it, all you have to do is click PDF full text. It's going to load the book for you, um, cover first. 
you can just hit this little um, arrow button to go to the next page, but it's a lot easier if you actually just go over to the table of contents and pick the part that you want to read. So if you want to read about blogs and you want to read what this rule seven is, you can just click on that and you can go straight to that page. One other thing you can do is click search within and type in a word that you're looking for. I'll try blog in this case. And when I do that, it's going to give me every instance of that word in the book. And you can click around and find um, the part that you're looking for. Now you can download um, and save pages uh, by clicking on save pages. And you can save it by section or by page number. This also has a site function if you click on site. Um, and it's going to give you um, citations in lots and lots of different formats. One thing to note is that many of these books do have a limited number of users at once. So if you get a message saying the book is in use, wait five minutes or 15 minutes and then try again. So that is how you find books at the OCC library. If you need help, please contact any of the librarians for assistance.